Hello everyone and welcome to Food Review UK. My name is MJ and today we are reviewing the Co-op Rainbow Uni Cones. So these are sort of like unicorn-y, like the unicorn craze which is going on at the moment. Which basically is, it's sort of like pastel rainbow sort of vibe, sort of bit special, interesting, glittery, all that kind of jazz. So this particular one has got green and purpley pink sort of orchid, if you'll allow me to expand my colour representation recognition thingy me bob ice creams with little sort of coloured sprinkly bits what does it say oh rainbow sprinkles uh, and it's in a black wafer cone as well the actual flavour is vanilla and raspberry so this is probably going to be like a raspberry ripple raspberry ripple is vanilla and raspberry flavour but I'm hoping because it's not the traditional colour of raspberry ripple I'm sort of hoping that we get something a bit closer to drumstick. And now I know drumstick is raspberry and milk. I'm just saying what I'm hoping for. I think the chocolate cone's going to be very interesting. Wouldn't have necessarily even said that chocolate cone is something I'd expect on a unicorn product. Because it's almost the polar opposite. Unicorn is very bright but pastel-y, multi-coloured. And of course a, that cone is sort of almost pitch black. Uh, but that should be good, like an Oreo thing. Really interesting product, co-op. Uh, I will say are really pushing the boundaries in the last sort of year, 18 months. That They've really been bringing out some interesting products. And they are definitely a retailer to watch. Where I live, there's a co-op just around the corner, recently refurbished. And it's really good, really nice. They do just a lot of interesting products, a good range as well. And for quite a small branch, they have a lot of stuff in there. So shout out to my homeboys at co-op. Not sponsored or anything, but if you wanted to, I'm listening. That's... Uh, that's the thing. This this looks great. Sometimes this kind of thing on the packaging looks a bit more sort of special, doesn't it? But this, uh, if anything, looks better in real life. Not getting a colossal amount of spell. Spell? Spell. But I never expect to on frozen things. Uh, let's go to hashtag preview flavour from this dome. Slightly messy, sort of, almost wish I didn't do it. Yeah, so it looks like that. Pretty cool, and yes, I think something did just fall on the floor. Right, Res raspberry and vanilla. Let's get it going, guys. Here we go. Oh, nice texture. There's actually some sauce tucked into those little layers as well, which is nice. Um, the texture is great. It's very um, sort of soft, very much like a twister, especially because it's so ridged on the outside. I'm getting like a real twister vibe from it. Ooh, those sprinkles. Ah, oh, they're delightful. They're either puffed rice, or they're those really nice aerated sprinkles that you very occasionally get. Can't really see, to be honest. I mean, there's a hell of a lot of ingredients. Hmm. No, very impressed so far, though. That's really nice. Oh, God. I love fucking hell. I bit my... Like, the very side of my cheek earlier at work. Quite badly. I've just bit the same piss in place again. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Deary me. That's lasting damage. Liberty. Hmm. It's very nice milky sort of creamy ice cream. Somewhere between hard sort of normal and soft serve. Which is great. Really nice consistency I think. Actually. If you left this out of the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm a mess, by the way. If you left this out of the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes, you'd have a really nice, close to soft serve experience, I think. So if you do have these, that'd be my advice. Lovely texture. The flavour of the ice cream is actually pretty light. It is pretty close to Raspberry Ripple. And that's okay. I don't even particularly dislike that it's not a very strong flavour. It's quite nice. Subtle. Oh my god, have I broken the end of my cone off? Bloody hell. Right, I think I'm just going to go for the other end now I've done that. Mmm. That is not as strong as I thought it was going to be, actually. The sort of, I was expecting it to have a really deep, dark, chocolatey flavour, but actually, I better get some hate comments for this. I know this is a ridiculous way to eat it, but whatever. I think the chocolate flavour is actually just coming from the chocolate on the inside of the shell. On the inside of the wafer, rather. The actual wafer itself tastes pretty much bang on with a normal wafer cone. Yeah, it's a high quality, slightly subtle in flavour, 
but great texture and just quite well done cone. Pretty enjoyable. I'll give it a ridiculously high three stars. Just because one can't help but think that it is a little bit of a gimmick because of what it is. But it's not one of those products that is like, oh, look at me. I'm unicorn colour. And then tastes like crap. It is really tasty. I would eat one again. Which is good because I've got a four pack. And it's got a really nice texture. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to tune in for more, then you should do so. If you're new, subscribe for more videos. And stay safe, kids. Goodbye. No, that is nice, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, so I'm gay. <laughs> Brilliant.